welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about why it's important to keep your ferrets cool during very hot days and how to do so. So first of all I'm just going to tell you why it's important to keep them cool. So ferrets are prone to heat stroke and other heat related illnesses. This can be very dangerous for them and can cause stress and even death. So you want to make sure you're keeping them cool on those very hot days. So I guess you're wondering how you keep them cool on them hot days. I'm going to give you some examples today. Number one, you can fill a water bottle with water. Make sure that there are no labels on the water bottle and fill it up, but not to the top so that it has space to expand and put it in the freezer. Once it is frozen, you can put a towel around it and place it in their cage. This is a good way of giving off the cold like air from it. Also, they're gonna wanna play with it, so that's gonna make them cool down because it's cold, obviously, and they could just sleep next to it too, and this is a really good way of keeping them cool. But if you notice that they are eating at the plastic or anything like that, you're gonna wanna take it off them straight away because as you may also know, or you may not, ferrets are prone to blockages too. So this can mean that they'll easily get a blockage from eating the plastic and stuff like that, and you don't really want that. So now number two. Number two is using a small pool like this one here with very, very shallow water in it and making sure that you supervise them whilst they're doing this. Now you only want to do this when it's very, very hot. You want to save this for the days that it's like incredibly hot because as you may or may not know, ferrets are also very sensitive on their skin so if you were to bath them so much you would cause so much irritation to their skin and fur which is the same as using a pool basically you want to save this for the days that it's really 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 hot and this is the only other thing that you can think of to cool them down but it is a very good way of cooling them down i'm sure they love to splash around in it and yeah it will keep them nice and cool so as you saw there, Reggie was just splashing around in the pool. I would have put Bear in the pool, but Bear really, really does not like water. And I don't want to stress him out. Plus he's sleeping right now and he's very old, as I mentioned in my old video. And he'd probably get very, very grumpy if I kept waking him up. But that was Reggie playing around in the pool. So now I'm going to do number three. Number three. Number three, you can use a dish of ice. You could get just a dish like this and put a few ice cubes on there and this is really great to give them nice and cold water once it starts to melt also they're going to want to dig around with the ice and play with it it might make a little bit of a mess but it's a really great way of keeping them cool and giving them something to do too So as you saw there, Bear was just drinking and basically just pushing the ice around with his nose. But that's how it can help. It really cools them down and it's a really good way of keeping them cool. So now I'm going to go on to number four. Number four. Number four is a very simple one and it's one that is very easy to do and everyone can do this. And that is to keep your cage out of the direct sunlight so to do this all you basically have to do is either just move the cage into a different place if this is hard to do sorry no if this is hard to do because let's say the cage is one that you can't move you can just keep the curtains shut which brings me to my next one anyway but yeah so number five, we're doing a two in one here. Number five is keeping your curtains or blinds shut during the day, especially when the sun is directly on the window. This just stops the heat coming into your room as much or wherever your ferrets are and it keeps the room nice and shadowy and cool. now it brings me to my final one, Reggie, it brings me to number six 
Number six is to just keep on top of their water, make sure that they have fresh water throughout the day, make sure you're changing it in the morning, around lunchtime and in the evening or just whenever you can, just making sure that it's fresh and cold. Uh, this will basically just make sure that they have you know, cold water and that they're hydrated throughout the day, which can also keep them cool. And yeah, so that's all of that. Reggie says, thank you for watching. <laughs> oh, he's giving kisses, that's nice. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to click like and subscribe and leave a comment for suggestions for my next video. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh. Bye. Oh. <laughs>